Hello everyone, it's Deltlead, and today on Vizzy's for Dummies, we're going to be covering how to use variables in Vizzy, what they are, and how powerful of a programming tool they can be. Now, at its core, a variable is a placeholder for a value. You can think of it like a safety deposit box for any number, string, or boolean expression that you need. Whenever your program sees that variable's name, it's going to go to the box associated with that name and retrieve whatever value you've stored inside it. Now, before you can use a variable, you actually have to declare what is inside the variable to the program. By declaring the variable, you're basically putting something in that box that the program can then come back to later. Let's create a new variable, and we'll call it myVariable. Then we will set the value of myVariable to be some number. Let's make it, in this case, just the mass of the rocket for this example. Now, when the program gets to this statement, it will know that the variable, myVariable, contains the mass of the rocket at the moment that we declared that variable. Now let's add a one second wait statement and then use the display command to have it display my variable. Now when the program runs what we should see is that one second after starting it will display the mass of our craft in kilograms to the screen. So variables are generally used for one of two things. You can either use them to make programs cleaner by reducing large math expressions that you have in your code down to a single word, and then you can plug that word wherever that math statement would have gone, and that makes the code a lot smaller and a lot easier to read, and it puts words where there were only numbers before. Variables are also used to remember previous values that aren't persistent. So let's do an example of that. Let's make a program that tells us how much fuel we've burned after a given number of seconds in flight. We'll start with the code that we just wrote, but let's rename the variable we made and call it initial mass. Now let's add a while true loop and add that below the code we just wrote, meaning this part of the code is going to run indefinitely inside the while true loop. Now let's make another variable and call it spent fuel and we'll set it equal to the initial mass minus the craft mass. Then we'll display the variable spent fuel along with some text that reads fuel burnt so far and a colon. Now when we launch our program this is going to tell us how much lighter our craft is now compared to when it was on the launch pad. And this difference in mass is actually the same as the amount of mass of fuel we've burned. So let's test this program out. As we can see here, the display is continuously telling us how much fuel we've burned. There's about a million different ways to use variables in Visi, and I can't even begin to explain them all, so I'm not going to try to. You'll discover many of them yourselves as you work through a Visi project, and you think to yourself, man, I wish there was a shorter way to write all of this, or dang, I hate that I have to keep repeating the same long expression over and over again inside my code. Now for your homework. Your mission will be to make a program that tells the user how much fuel they have burned in total in their flight over multiple stages. The example we just did shows you how to do it for one stage, but one thing you're going to have to account for is the empty mass of spent stages that get discarded. If you were just to run this program, instead of giving you the spent fuel mass, it would give you the total difference in mass, not accounting for separators, side boosters being discarded, and main stages being discarded. So that number is going to be wrong if you just try to use this one. Here's a hint for this assignment. You're going to need to record the mass of your craft before launch, after the fuel in any stage is spent, and immediately after that stage has been separated. Then you're going to want to subtract your current mass from the pre-launch mass that we recorded and saved to a variable, and add back any of the mass of the discarded stages. It's a little tricky and you're going to need to use loops and variables to accomplish this. Good luck with this assignment and post in the comments of this video your solution to it. I hope you found this video helpful in explaining the basics of programming in Visi. If you did, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Your support is what keeps these videos coming. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next video.